வெல்கம் பேக் டு கார்டோனைஸ்ட் கன்சைஸ்ட் கம்யூனிட்டி மெடிசின் சீரீஸ் வித் மீ காரி தென்றல் டுடே இஸ் இ கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் நேஷனல் டியூபர்குலோசஸ் எலிமினேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் டூ த வீடியோ லிங்க் ஃபார் பார்ட் ஒன் இஸ் கிவன் த டெஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் டு செக் இட் அவுட் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் சேனல் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் ஃபார் மோர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் வீடியோஸ் லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் பிரஸ் த பெல் அகன் ஸோ தட் வில் ரிசீவ் அ டெய்லி வீடியோ நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் கண்டென்ட் வில் பி சீன் த நேஷனல் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் டிசீஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் டிபி ட்ரக்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் டயக்னோஸ்டிக் கலகோர்தம் விச் இஸ் இன்டர் அப்டேட் வித் என்டிஇபி மாடியூல் to which is released by government of india 2020 coming to the nasal history of disease it holds good for every disease that is uh, ahn host and environmental factor here it also holds good for tuberculosis we have studied in detail in microbiology itself that is ahn host and environment agent is mycobacteria which is a uh, intracellular parasite coming to the bovine and human uh, agents bovine that is going to excrete the basal line in the milk so we can pasteurize the milk and get rid of it next is humans one important thing is in human there are slow multipliers and fast multipliers as we have seen the definition of the relapse of which we have seen the true relapse what is true relapse and why is true relapse is there are some bacteria that is acting as dormant basally at later stage it can initiate infection so that causes true relapse and then one person can infect into 15 person per year that is the annual infection rate incubation period varies from weeks to years because there is dormant and fast multiplying basically and therefore because of that host everyone can get this tuberculosis especially bcg vaccine is given in order to prevent the severest form of tuberculosis like malaria tuberculosis and so on in the early ages mostly these tuberculosis are attacking the elders especially men who are more exposed malnutritious people non irritable only but in twin studies they say there are twins are susceptible to uh, tuberculosis by inheritance only there is acquired immunity by bcg vaccination and natural infection by atypical mycobacteria environment says that there is poor quality of life because of overcrowding being this is a airborne infection so overcrowding being an important risk factor smoking alcohol again target slum so it's also one of the important environmental social risk factor droplet infection is more common that is the root of infection transmission of infection not the formates except pulmonary tuberculosis has a low risk when compared to the pulmonary tuberculosis coming to the control of tuberculosis for us to control we should be knowing what is the case so a case tb case is uh, the first step in tuberculosis control program is early detection of sputum positive finding so that we can uh, prevent the or control the disease in the community next is the target group who is the target group the person who had one or more symptom referable to chest because tuberculosis is present earlier stage with chest symptoms like persistent cough and fever so the person who is presenting with these symptom are target group so let us have to screen and check for is positive for tb or not next is invariably we are going to screen every person who is coming to hospital that is health care accessing people especially the clinically socially and occupationally related population or vulnerable population that by we need to intensify the tb case finding in turn we can reduce the uh, tb prevalence in the community thereby the screening is very dynamic we are going to see the strategies of screening very simple how we going to screen the community one directly go to the community that is door to door, door, door screening next is institution because many people are not living together uh, like in community per se because some are in the old age home some are in refuge camp some are in workplace and so on so thereby there is a institutional training strategy and community screening strategy in community we have seen door to door in institutional who is coming to hospital vulnerable population that is like close contact and so on they are screened and in institution it is who is present there we go then screened come diagnostic tool we have studied the microbiology any specimen it comes first is smear next is culture and next is identification like likewise the same here also tb patient is coming so first is smear of which afb is very commonly we do zillion staining fluorescent microscopy led fluorescent microscopy sputum uh, culture very commonly we know that uh, lg medium is the gold standard but still it has a longer period of mean incubation period uh, to identify the organism that way we go for other methods of culture that is micro colony detection by middle brook uh, media radiometric back tech mg8960 and mbbsct system can also be used for a uh, faster detection middle brook uh, is an agar and krishna broth or middle brook broth or liquid medium can be used 
if you want to directly detect the bacteria from the clinical sample there are options genomic and genotypic and phenotypic in genotypic we know very commonly we use PCR PCR CBNAT um, gene export and TME and NAR being used phenotypic it is uh, FASD plot TB which is basically a very fast technique by using a uh, mycobacteriophage for uh, people living with HIV they can be doing a serological test that is lateral flow and CTB. CTB is basically a normal specific skin test based on ESAT 6 antigen and CFP10 antigen. At last is the skin test which is most common to the clean test. This picture is put up to just remember the medium for uh, tuberculosis, culture medium. We are more familiar with the brook bond 3 roses advertisement. So having this in mind, let us see, here this brook bone theorosis is in the middle of two people and they are going to prepare it from the kitchen. So having this in mind, let us see, one is middle brook. So one medium is middle brook, this brook bond is between two people, broth and medium we know, and then Krishna, they are preparing from the kitchen, so it is Krishna broth. And we know that LG medium is the gold standard, these are all the medium for tuberculosis basically, culture. Now coming to sputum sample, very simple, if at all a person is coming to uh, for the symptoms, we need to do two sputum sample which is most important, one at spot, second sample could be at early morning and uh, if at all a person have to travel a long time, they can collect the same day itself but make sure they are collecting one hour after the first sample, 20 slides per microscopist, uh, microscopist uh, can view and get result, give result for one day. And another important thing, nearly 10,000 organisms per ml postputum can give positive smear. For us to declare the person is TB positive, at least one specimen out of these two should be positive. As the immunocompromised state increases, the smear positivity in person living with HIV decreases. To be noted, because the in HIV, the inflammatory response of the lung will be going down. That is the reason. False positive can occur in accidental transfer of slides. False negative smear can occur in inadequate sampling and so on. Coming to this slide, uh, this we have done in even in microbiology itself to remember it in a very easy way. Let us give in the morning or easy a trick to remember. It is basically we are seeing in the thousand x that is an oil immersion. We are using this thousand x. We are seeing in hundred fields and we are mentioning in terms of uh, like uh, less than ten one to ten. So, this is the oil immersion we are using, uh, 100 fields we are checking initially and then we are saying like 10, less than 10 and 1 to 10 like that. That is what it is. So no AFB in 100 fields and 1 to 9 AFB in 100 in oil immersion field. When it reaches near 100 that is 10 to 99 AFB then per 100 field is changed into per oil immersion field. Then per oil immersion field 1 to 10 at last more than 10 in 1 oil emotion field. Based on this we are giving a 0, scanty, plus 1, plus 2 and uh, 3 plus grading. TMA and NA are these are the abbreviation and these two are used for distinguishing between the typical and typical infection of mycobacteria. These are the uh, clinical findings that is chest x-ray of TB and this is a chest x-ray of malaria um, tuberculosis. This is LJ medium. The colonies of LJ medium that showing the tubercle basal growth, and this is the immunofluorescent. No, it is uh, the fluorescent microscopy find which is with oramin doramin string. This is the CBNAT. This is the cartridge. Uh, we are going to keep the sample inside the cartridge and process it, and at last, it is going to find the TB uh, basal genotype. Also, CBNAT detects the uh, resistance to rifampin. I mean the tuberculin test, WHO has given the uh, PPD, yes type and RT23 accepted as a standard tuberculin. In India, we have been using PPD RT23 with twin, uh, twin 80 at a uh, standard strength of 1 TU. Coming to the result of tuberculin test, uh, we see the transverse diameter of the induration that was specially for immunocompromised and HIV individual. It is somewhere very low because their, their immunity is very low, therefore the reaction is very low, somewhere around 5 millimeters. And for child less than 4 years it is of 10 or more than 10, 
for more risk people it can be of more than 15 millimeters now coming to a story like a person is diagnosed with tb and treated a uh, very long ago mr x y z and after some day some years is again giving tuberculin test but his test is negative a second tuberculin test he is getting but he is tested positive but the report when we see if they give us new tb case then it is wrong what is actually happening is from being positive to testing negative tuberculin test negative the immunity for tb has actually decreased and again when he is tested with uh, given a second time tb so uh, tuberculin test the tuberculin test actually boosted a new reaction for the old infection we know that a uh, first and second dose of uh, second uh, tu is given after 3 years of in, uh, 3 weeks of interval so by that 3 weeks tuberculin test boosted a new reaction for old infection thereby the report is not new tb case rather it is a previous infection now this is the basic classification of uh, tb drugs let me say the easy thing to remember, remember second line when first line is going second line is like let me give like fluoroquinolone so l m f to remove levofloxacin moxifloxacin and gatifloxacin injectable is like scam as for uh, streptomycin cm for capreomycin amikacin and kenamycin some important things about the drugs is rifampicin r for r r gives red color urine and if like if is like influenza like illness it also causes hepatonephrotoxicity isoniazid it is low cost but a very most important and powerful drug and it causes peripheral neuropathy which we all know for that to combat it 10 to 20 gram milligrams of pyridoxine is given and streptomycin no action on dormant basal line and it causes ototoxicity pyrimidinamide it is it has a bacterial sterilizing effect that increases for rifampicin or rifampin drug it concentrates in csf very nicely so it is used for tuberculosis meningitis one important adverse effect is hyperuricemia presenting with gouty arthritis ethambutol e for e that is retrobulbar neuritis is the adverse effect and it is a bacteriostatic drug one of the bacteriostatic drug in first line thiazidazone is again a bacteriostatic drug in the second line one thing to remember is it is contraindicated in hiv to remember it thio azidazone th i we have in hiv t helper cell is going down so thio t h is like zero so it should not be given in hiv patient it cause severe rash inflammation next at last well, after eating biryani like we eat bida so at the last line of drug we have the bida colin to remember bida colin and delamidin bida colin is actually targeting the mycobacterial atp synthesis contraindicated in pregnancy and arrhythmia eligible people is whoever is giving resistance to mdr xdr tb uh, uh, mixed pattern of resistance who is getting uh, treatment failure with mdr tb plus fluoroquinolone second line injectable drug resistance delamidin uh, is given like 50 mg for permanent mdr tuberculosis diagnosis algorithm for drug sense to very simple the person is going to come present with clinically so which is a sex test x ray and smear like a probability if smear is positive it is microbiologically confirmed if smear is negative but uh, uh, x ray is positive go for cb not again detect the uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis by cb not it also detect the rifampicin resistance or not if it is sensitive again microbiologically confirmed resistant check for the resistance uh, and uh, intermediate means repeat cb not on second sample even on second sample it is indeterminate collect the fresh sample for liquid culture if smear is negative and the ct uh, x ray is also not showing any suggestive feature it is of highly clinical suspicion so go for cb not again and uh, check for alternate diagnosis for uh, extrapermitive tuberculosis and send to the specialist at last for pediatric tuberculosis who the patient is going to present with a uh, parent is going to say that papa is of having fever and coughing for really more than uh, equal to 2 weeks and there is no weight gain in past 3 months and as well the weight loss of nearly 5 percentage in past 3 months and there is also history of contact these are all the presumptive pediatric tuberculosis case so what we do just simply take chest x ray and from the chest x ray if it is highly suggestive just the shadows are showing or it is normal 
two normal case with skin test being positive negative one is highly suggestive go for cb9 and confirm the test and this is clinically diagnosed uh, in case of there is no uh, specific cbct finding but skin test is positive give antibiotic and again check for uh, cb9 if it is getting positive or negative then confirm it to be clinical or microbiologically confirm uh, if at all x-ray is normal skin test is positive uh, refer it for any extra preliminary tuberculosis x-ray is normal skin test is negative look for alternate cause so pulmonary tuberculosis for a pediatric case first chest x-ray next skin test based on that we'll be seeing microbiologically or clinically diagnosed tb thank you so much for your patient listening hope this video helped you something